This is a short video explaining the different terms relating to spinal conditions known as the spondees or the spondywats. Spondyle is a simple prefix meaning vertebrae. That leaves us with osis, lysis and lysthesis. Let's start with spondylosis. Spondylosis refers rather non-specifically to a spinal degeneration. It's a commonly used term in medicine, but it's important to recognize that it's often just normal aging and not related to heavy lifting or the reporting of back pain. So spondylosis is not a clinical diagnosis and in most cases represents a normal spine. The term does however get used to describe other pathologies that may require specific management. So it may be worth clarifying the use of the word. Next up is spondylolysis. Spondylolysis refers to a defect in the pars interarticularis of the vertebral arch. At this point, bone stress can develop into a stress fracture, and if the bone separates, a pseudoarthrosis or false joint can form. Spondylolysis is most common in adolescent athletes who engage in vigorous sports, particularly ones involving extension and rotation actions. Unlike spondylosis, spondylolysis is a specific pathology that requires careful assessment and management. A CT scan is recommended over an x-ray for diagnosis. Finally, spondylolysis is a real tongue twister. The lysthesis part means translation or slipping. So spondylolysis means a vertebral slipping. The slipping is commonly caused by a fracture of the pars interarticularis. So there is a link between spondylolysis and spondylolysthesis. There are many different types of spondylolysthesis. The two most simple categories are developmental and acquired. So there we have it. Spondylosis, age-related changes. Spondylolysis, vertebral bone stress and spondylolysthesis, vertebral translation. I'll be posting more information about this on the Physio Channel Facebook group, so please join us there.